so it is just a little bit smaller than the pair three and uh, of course we got to throw the uh pm2 there in the mix right hello and what is going on guys my name is miguel and welcome to miguel edc today we're going to be doing a review video uh just in-depth review uh on the civivi elementum this is the og elementum the smaller uh, size compared to the button lock there's now even a new version of this guy that comes with the button lock so more to come on that in the channel later on but this is the og elementum and i gotta tell you guys this is the second second knife that i ever got when i first started getting into edc when i first started to um kind of you know discover this whole niche of you know using knives as tools and you know daily carrying knives and uh you know kind of discovering how useful it was to have something sharp on you whenever you got an amazon box or whenever you got a package or you need to cut through some car cardboard or you know, whatever it is right that you need to cut on a daily basis right having a knife edc in a knife it's uh we all know right especially if you're in the knife community we all know how useful that is so i'm gonna give you guys some uh you know uh basic specs here again this is the civivi elementum the original one this one is in orange here and this is g10 handles right uh, as far as blade goes this is a d2 satin finish d2 right there uh, I did um, unbox a black blade uh, D2 version of the same exact knife. I was really, really uh, deciphering which one to keep. I decided to keep the satin D2 version and I returned the other one. For size comparisons, right, if I put it next to the uh, Kershaw leak right there, you can see they are pretty much identical in size are both seven inches long with that three inch blade which is kind of like the borderline for certain areas certain states for different laws you know it's kind of like the borderline you can't have a blade or carry a blade that is longer than three inches so this knife uh, should uh, comply with that again check your local laws i'm not an attorney but yes golden ratio seven inches overall three on the blade four on the handle right so uh that being said let's do some quick size comparisons here like we always do we're going to compare this guy to the para 3 right so it is just a little bit smaller than the para 3 and uh, of course we got to throw the uh pm2 there in the mix right so yeah uh, definitely the civivi elementum is going to be a medium slash smaller medium to smaller knife uh you know somewhat along the lines with the para 3 whereas the uh, pm2 is more of a medium overall medium to large knife right so there it is next to the spider codes right that i have on the lineup let's check the demco knives right let's check the demco knives and by the way guys if you haven't seen unboxings on these guys i'm currently edcing these guys so i can also give you a review so that's going to be live on the channel here soon so next to the shark's foot blade and the clip point blade on the ad 20.5 yeah, they're gonna be just a little bit longer, right, on both of the variants of the 20.5. Uh, but yeah, other than that, you know, a little bit of a longer blade, a little bit of a longer handle as well. All right, keep that in mind. Again, this is just for comparison purposes. All right, let's do the Senkut Brothers here. We have the Senkut um, Saxi. And by the way, Senkut is a subsidiary of Civivi and We Nice, right? So We Nice is like the high-end, right, brand. Civivi is somewhere in the middle with their prices, and then Senkut is the more affordable of them all. Uh, but yeah, here it is compared to the Senkut Saxi. Here it is compared to the Senkut Crawley, right? And yes, you have a longer handle, you have a longer blade on both of these variants, right? And of course, what you do get with these is uh, you, of course, have the fidgetability is that the, if that's even a word that's your new word for the day fidgetability all right try to say that 10 times fast yeah these are button lock and so they have a lot more fidgety friendly nature to them but yeah these uh, i'm going to be reviewing these very shortly in the channel so right now we're just doing some quick side by side comparisons to give you guys an idea there and last but not least right we do about you know four different comparisons overall we have to put it next to the wrap model one right that's that's <laughs> definitely way bigger way bigger blade way bigger handle and of course oh, i failed that opening so that again 
There it is, that's nice and perfect. Nice and sharp opening right there. So there it is, the wrap model two. So Ontario wrap model one, yeah, way bigger, of course, but the Savivi Elementum is very close to the wrap model two right there, the smaller brother for sure, right? So that should give you a good idea, a good size comparison there so that you can kind of, you know, uh, that should hopefully help you with your buying or purchasing decision. Let's get these guys out of the way here. All right, and then I don't know, let's, let's just throw one last one there, a bonus comparison. Again, like I said earlier, the Kershaw leak is like right there with that golden ratio, three overall uh, inches, I'm sorry, seven overall inches, three in the blade and uh, four in the handle. I wanna put it next to the, another Civivi, by the way, the Ortis. This one here, uh, the review will be coming soon in the channel, so make sure to like and subscribe if you wouldn't want to miss that. It is uh, just a little bit longer on the blade and just a little bit longer on the handle. But other than that, very, very comparable knives of that medium to smaller range. All right, let's check out the carry profile. Carry profile really quick, next to the PM2, right? I'm gonna say the clip, right? Might make the PM2. Definitely a little bit thicker for sure, but you can kind of see it there with your own eyes. Uh, next to the PM3, right? Very, very comparable, right? The, the spider coils being a little bit thicker. Uh, next to the Demco AD20, it might just be, the Civivi might just be a little bit thicker than the uh, Demco uh, AD20.5. Uh, I want to say next to the, here we are, the Sencot Crawley. Now this one is the Saxy, right? Yeah, it's the Send Cut is a little bit bigger next to the Crawley here, Send Cut Crawley, also a little bit bigger. And of course, you know, you have the the Wrap Model 1 and 2. Oops, knocked the uh, fidget toy there out of the way. All right, there it is, All right? So Wrap Model 1 is definitely a little bit thicker next to the Wrap Model 2, right? This is more comparable. Here, we know they're, they're pretty much the same in size, but yes, they also compare pretty good in the carry profile there, the um, overall thickness right there, all right? Of course, fair measurement, right? We already mentioned the leak is already in the mix, so why not? It is just a little bit thicker than the leak, all right? So, just quick uh, carry profile comparisons right there. All right, what does it look like when it's folded? Well, let's, let's take a look at that as well, right? So there is the paramilitary or para three. There is the paramilitary two, right? So it kind of gives you an idea. Spider coats, of course, with the uh, circle design, they're going to stick out in the pack in the pocket. They're going to take a lot more pocket room than the Elementum for sure, right? Let's check it out next to the Demco brothers here right this is the shark's foot this is the clip point right both of these are going to be a little bit you know thicker as well uh take a little bit more pocket room for sure all right what do they look like next to the same cut cousins here since they are pretty much the same we nice brand uh, i want to say the only one that takes a little bit more room here will be the saxy just because of the blade being a little bit thicker, right? The Crawley, since it has a more narrow, uh, a narrower blade, uh, it kind of, you know, pretty much takes about the same amount, just a little bit longer, of course, right? Same amount, same amount of space as the Elementum, but the Elementum is uh, definitely a little bit shorter. Things to keep in mind, right? Depending on the scenario, if you're looking for a primary or secondary to carry, for whatever you got going on for the day. All right next to the Ontario Wrap Model 1, right? This one definitely is a little bit longer. Takes a little bit more space there as well. The one that comes the closest right there is that Ontario Wrap Model 2 right there. That's yeah, pretty much like neck and neck right there, right? They take about the same length, right? And the same width also, right? So there you go, there you have it. All right, some quick comparisons. All right, nothing but comparisons during this review here for you guys. Right, that being said, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you enjoyed the video so far, don't forget to yeah, definitely leave a huge uh, like on this video, right? Look forward to seeing the comments, reading everything that you guys uh, are typing on there. By the way, by the time you're watching this video, right, the review for the Civivi Ortis is probably already released. 
All right, so if you wanna check out the Civivi Ortis, right, make sure to click this card right here. That is the Civivi Ortis. Also love this guy, it is so, so good. That being said, guys, take care, peace. I'll see you all next time.